This building is Mod 7, a massive structure on the south part of Penn. It is connected to a network of underground pipes running all over campus. 16 and a half miles long, these pipes hold 4 million gallons of water. Chilled water here from the plant is pumped out onto campus into each individual building. It goes into air handling units for the most part, which is a big, it's a big fan. And you have a chilled water coil in there, it looks like a radiator, and the air blows against that, against the chilled coil, and that cools your air in the building. This map shows the network of pipes in blue. These are cooling towers, evaporative cooling towers. What they're doing is taking the heat from that returned with the chilled water and bringing it up here and rejecting it into the atmosphere. A closed loop system holds the water, continuously cycling throughout campus. At full capacity, Mod 7 can generate 1.4 billion BTUs. Capacity here are 30,000 tons of refrigeration. Most normal household systems are one and a half to two tons. Cooling campus buildings with chiller plants like Mod 7 is easier and more sustainable than using separate air conditioning units on each campus building.